you can see like 5.7. That means that uh, the pori line or that line is 5.7 meters. On creation of network data set, network data set consists of lines, junctions, and other features that model network relevant properties. To create it, we open ArcGIS catalog. We have to go, we have to open the ArcGIS catalog. We find we look for our shapefile, the road network data shapefile. We right click on it, and uh, we, as you can see on the image, when you right click on it, you, you have some way to give you the new network data set. Then you, you click on it and uh, you have it. Service area analysis, it's a type of network analysis that encompasses all accessible streets or accessible streets. It's created by one, you activate network analyst tool in customizer and uh, extensions. On the network analyst tool menu, click on new service area and the network on the, ne on the network window, load point data on facilities. The point data on the facilities will be the schools. Uh, again, uh, set your distance parameters in the service area properties. On the network analyst tool menu, click on so. When you solve, uh, you have the results. Uh, on the implementation output, uh, what uh, I achieved from all those processes, first of all, uh, distribution of education facilities. From, uh, from my legend, you can see the secondary school it's in green. We have the tertiary educational points, which are in triangle. We have the primary school points, which are in yellow. We have the private school points, which are in blue. Yeah, as you can be able to see all of them. When I converted the polygons that I've already shown you, these are the points that are, I achieved. Uh, the map shows the distribution of settlement in Bondo town. Most of the residents seems to be around the town center. The settlement also, also follows the road network. Hence, this is more of a linear settlement. Before I had uh, other polygons, which we had digitized on the, on the Google imagery, whereby we digitized all the settlements, all the buildings around the area. And then again, I converted them into points and uh, the process that I've previously soon shown you. Uh, I also made a central main point density in Bondo town through the, uh, by the use of those, the central main points that I've already shown you. This map shows settlements around the area. It shows which areas have high settlement and which do not. Bondo town center has a higher settlement as compared to other, place, uh, other places. Uh, you can see the white, white in the map. Where we have white, that means that these are, uh, the sentiment is very high. The, bra the brown follows, green follows, and uh, some green, uh, which, which shows the low density settlements, the areas that have low settlements. And something that I would like you to note uh, our schools are located in places whereby we have high settlements. If you look at the map, you'll notice that all the schools are within areas where we have more settlements, apart from some which are actually two, three. Um, accessibility to ECDs, uh, I would like you first of all to note that uh, according to the physical planning handbooks, it says that uh, ECDs are accessible, are considered, are considered accessible to students or to pupils where they are within 0 0.5 kilometer. So I did a service area of uh, 0 0.5 kilometers within the schools that we know that have the ECDs. And uh, there are so many, uh, there are quite a number in Bondo. And uh, in the map, as you can see, the areas that where we, that where we have white, uh, they are not covered. Where we have white, it means that uh, in those areas, it is, okay, there are no schools. And I would like you to note, Pia, like in those areas, we didn't have a lot of settlements. Uh, about uh, primary schools, which were in yellow, as I have shown you, um, it is interesting, uh, it, it is important that you know that, uh, again, in the physical plan handbook, it indicates that uh, students should be able to access, to access the primary schools at around two kilometers. So uh, in Bondo, again, I did a service area of two kilometers and uh, 
this is the results of that I got, which means that uh, the area that the, there's a two points where we don't have the blue, they are not covered, which means that those points are a bit, a bit left out, but they are not that much central there. Uh, I did again on, on secondary schools. And again, it is uh, okay for for primary schools and secondary schools. They all they almost the same because a uh, physical planning handbook demands that they be within two kilometers. Again, as you can see on the map, is the left the left the left side where there is a lot of whitish. So it means that uh, this area is there is need for an additional secondary school. Again, I proposed one and. Uh, uh, when I, I did put it there, you can see the results uh, that I got. So for me, I think uh, this would be an interesting case, maybe a proposal where we can have an additional high school. Yeah, it will help solve the issue. And then in my conclusion, through network analysis in ArcGIS, we have been able to achieve our goal of determining education institution accessibility in Bondo Town. Accessibility of education in Bondo Town is still wanting. ECDs and secondary school institutions are not enough. In the area for future purposes planning has to be done. Or they have to be considered. Primary schools in the area are well distributed and well accessible, as has been shown through network analysis. Thank you.